Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a garden makeover video. So as you may know, we are currently renovating our house and this was a bit of an impromptu makeover. So we decided that morning that we were just going to remove all of the gravel and put some turf down. So we are going to be landscaping the garden. We've got a few jobs to do. So we want to replace all the fences. We want to take down the garage. We want to repave all of the paving that's there at the minute. But for now, we just thought we'd need to get all this gravel up and it'll be a lot nicer for our little dog Nala to be able to play in the garden with some grass down. So the garage is in serious need of some DIY. So we've got to paint the garage. It'll eventually be coming down, so we don't want to spend too much money on it. That's why this is definitely a budget makeover because we wanted to spend as little money as possible, just enough to get the garden looking nice so we could enjoy spending some time here. So here's Nala, she just brought my slipper out as well. So you'll see her feature quite a few times during the video. So the first things first was just to get all the gravel up. So this took absolutely ages. So we have a small garden, but a lot of it is gravel. So we are just shoveling the gravel into these big one ton bags. And eventually we need to get someone to come and collect these. We haven't got someone to collect them yet. So you'll still see them at the end of the video, but they are going this weekend. So this is just what the garden looks like now that all the stones have been dug up. So it's really important when you're laying turf that the soil isn't really compact underneath. So we went around and churned up all of the soil with these forks, as you can see here. And then we went over the top layer of soil with a rake just to flatten it and get rid of any large lumps so that the turf would lay nice and flat on the soil and there was no lumps and bumps in it. So here's the final result, so we've churned up all of the soil, we've gone over it with a rake and broken up any large pieces. So as we laid each roll down we just made sure that the ground was flat that we were laying it on. We thought it would be easier to do it as we went rather than trying to do it all in one go. So the next step was to give it a good water, so we made sure that the soil was completely wet before we laid the turf. So we needed 19 metres square of turf to cover this, so each roll was approximately 1 metre squared. So we needed 19 rolls and we just bought these from B&Q. We just turned up in the morning and had to buy the turf there and then. It was obviously better to ring up beforehand and make sure there was some in stock. So we did do this and we did actually have to go to two different B&Qs. We managed to get enough. So this is Nala's first reaction to the grass we've just laid. So you can see she absolutely loves it. She loves grass, she loves playing in grass and she's given a good roll around in it here. So we still had a little bit of turf to lay just at the side here, but Nala was very eager to come and see her newly laid grass, so we let her out early, just so she could have a bit of a play. So we just used a wood saw to cut the remaining pieces of turf that needed to be cut down to size, and we made sure that the edges of the turf were really close together, so that they don't shrink. So the next job was just to give the grass a good water. It's really important to water the grass for 30 minutes in the morning and evening, and the sun's not completely out. So Ruben's next job was to paint the garage, so we used the same white masonry paint which we used for the side of the house. So we already had that sitting in the garage and we thought this just completely freshened up the garage until we can eventually take it down. So the windows need a good clean, um, but I never got around to doing that whilst doing this little mini makeover. So my job was to de-weed, so I actually found a fork was the best method of de-weeding and we just put the sprinkler on again just to give the grass another water and here Nala is loving the grass. So this is the final result. We ended up planting three clematis down the bottom of the garden so that when these grow they kind of cover the garage and they have the most beautiful white flowers on. So some of the flowers have already come out now and we put this wire across just so that the clematis had a bit of support whilst they were growing. So the vision here is that the clematis completely covers the garage and when we take the garage down, We'll replace it with a fence and then the clematis can grow on the fence. 
So we were kindly gifted some vegetable plants from family members to finish the garden makeover. So these are some courgette plants and there's a butternut squash hiding in the back. There are two tomato plants in this lovely terracotta pot here. And then beside it is a chilli plant and then we've got two peppers as well. So I can't wait for them to start producing fruit. And these plants over here we already had. So we've got a grapevine, an olive tree, a hydrangea. And that was it. So thank you so much for watching. Here's a final look of the garden. We obviously still have a few more bits we want to do. But for now, for one weekend, I'm less than £100. I think we did a great job. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!